I am David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. You've probably seen the social media posts. It takes more energy and emissions to produce an electric vehicle than you'll ever save by driving one. So, is this true? Are the life cycle emissions of EVs lower? The answer is a resounding yes, according to a new report by Bloomberg New Energy Finance. Uh, hi, my name is Corey Cantor. I'm a senior associate for electric vehicles at Bloomberg NEF. And I work on the EV transition as a part of a global team that looks at really how electric vehicles and other drivetrains are doing across the world. So what's the verdict? Do EVs produce fewer emissions? Yeah, big picture is in all of our analyzed cases, uh, bar none, electric vehicles come out better than internal combustion engine vehicles. And it doesn't matter if you're driving that EV in China or the U.S. Um, we looked at it in five different regions. So we looked at the U.S., Europe, Japan, China, um, as well as, uh, well, I guess, U.K. and Germany, both in, in Europe. And all different markets in terms of the size of vehicles that people drive, the grid, how clean is it in those different regions, and what type of ICE cars they're driving. And in every single scenario, both in 2023, the kind of today scenario, and 2030, EVs are better for the environment. EVs win out in countries with dirty grids and even different EVs. It doesn't seem to matter. Producing batteries for EVs accounts for the increased upfront embodied emissions, but that's overcome the more you drive the car. In the U.S., the break-even point, and when we talk about break-even in the report, it means if you're buying a new gas car and a new EV, when the new EV becomes better on a life cycle basis than the gas car, it's about 2.2 years in the U.S., or about 41,000 kilometers, about 25,000 miles. In China, this number moves to 10 years, thanks to their dirtier grid. But EVs are producing fewer emissions every year in all markets as the grids get cleaner and cleaner. And so what that means is we can take our grid projections in each of these countries out to 2040 or 2050. And so by next decade, the U.S. kind of break-even point is at about a year. And in China, it drops from about nine and a half years to four years and change. So again, all these grids are getting a lot cleaner, and that's another big takeaway. As the grid becomes cleaner, so does the electric vehicle. You might be surprised to learn that Canada's electricity grid is twice as clean as the U.S. And even Alberta's electricity grid is about the same as the U.S. electricity grid. This is because Alberta has all but eliminated the use of coal to generate electricity. In the region studied, battery electric vehicles will produce much fewer emissions than the gasoline-fueled vehicles over their lifetime. And as the grid gets cleaner, so do the EVs. What about the life cycle cost of EV ownership? Is it cheaper or not? So on, on total cost of ownership basis, EVs in, in most cases are now almost or if not at past TCO parity. Upfront price parity, which is what most people in our view essentially uh, do when they're picking up their EVs, um, we haven't reached that here in North America. So we see that as more without subsidies as a 2026 20, story onwards, according to our most recent published reports. And really, it all depends on battery prices continuing to come down. Sales of EVs in Canada and the U.S. were up 50% in 2023 with 1 million sold. In addition, 1.6 million plug-in hybrids were sold as well. In early 2024, EV sales have slipped, however, possibly related to the high interest rates or the Chevy Bolt being discontinued, analysts aren't sure. The moral of the story is EVs produce fewer emissions, and this gets better and better with each passing year. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.